I've been using split keyboards for more than five years now, and boy, do I have a lot to tell you about. I'm a game dev and a software engineer, and I spend a lot of time on my computer programming various things or playing games because my profession and hobbies involve using computers for eight to 12 hours a day. I think it's a smart move to invest in equipment that can help me be more comfortable, make my workflow faster, reduce risk of long-term injury, and make me feel all good inside. You see, I like to think of myself as a PC power user. Meaning I spend enough time on the PC that any bad habits I have, whether it be from sitting poorly or my hand placement on the keyboard, will surely bite me in the butt later. And once I came to this realization, I decided to do something about it. Now first, let me give you proof that it's actually been five years. This right here is the Mistel Barocco MD600. Miss Barocco and I go way back. Ooh la la. She was the first split keyboard I've ever had. And you can see here that I got it on Amazon at the end of 2016, which is the start of 2017. Which means at the time of making this video, it's been more than five years since I started using split keyboards. And now that I've presented proof, let's get into the juicy stuff, my opinions. One of my absolute favorite things about split keyboards is that there's a gap in the center where you can put your coffee or your water. This is great for two reasons. One, the distance from your hands to the cup dramatically decreases. This is great for folks like me who are too lazy and don't wanna move. Hey. Don't judge. Second reason is that you have a much lesser chance of knocking the drink over. With traditional keyboards, you have to move around the keyboard to get to what you want to get. There's more margin for error. On the other hand, with split keyboards, even though it may seem more dangerous because your drink is closer to the keyboard, through my experience, it's really not because the only time you have to actually go to the center of the keyboard is to get your drink and it's an intentional move. And so it's much less likely to to actually make a mistake and knock your drink over. All right, let's see how fast I type on the split keyboard versus a traditional one. One hundred nine words per minute. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna try with a regular membrane keyboard. Ninety one words per minute. So clearly I'm faster on the split keyboard at just regular typing. But I think just regular typing doesn't really show the true power of split keyboards, especially if you're a programmer. I program almost every day because I enjoy it and because it's my job. And so any small win I can get in the middle of my day helps me perform, spending thousands and thousands of hours doing it. So I kind of get into a habit of noticing really tedious things that I have to do throughout the day. And I'm constantly trying to improve my daily workflow to make it smoother so that I can enjoy what I do. And so an example of how split keyboards make my workflow smoother is that it makes me program a lot faster. But when you're programming, you have to kind of navigate around lines of code pretty quickly. And so there are things that you do, like go to the end of a line of code or the beginning of a line of code. And you use the arrow keys a lot to kind of navigate to certain areas. I'm printing out hello world, but I spelt world wrong. So what I would do on my split keyboard is I'd move down one, then I'd go to the end of the line using the end button, and then I'd move over, shift, move over again and then replace it to fix it. And I barely, I didn't move my wrists, I didn't move my hands, I was just moving my fingers that entire time. Now, if I use the same example, but using a traditional keyboard, move my hand to the arrow, move down, and then I move it up here, click end, then move it back down to the arrow, one, two, three, and then one, two, and then I have to move it back. And so there's a lot more hand movement to do certain things, even with backspace and other keys that you have to use frequently. And so these small little movements that you don't have to do anymore make your day a lot better, especially as a programmer, it helps you kind of focus because you're getting the easy wins, you know, small little wins that add up. And for a lazy programmer like me who doesn't want to move, it's actually a massive win. When I think back about some of the really good programming moments I've had in my life, I think about some relaxing Spanish guitar playing in the background, 
the smell of some fresh coffee and me typing on my split keyboard and it just feels magnifica to type on you see with traditional keyboards your hands are all bunched up together and your wrists are cocked up but split keyboards are designed to put your arms in a more natural resting position another thing is that they make use of these guys your thumbs are really versatile fingers and traditional keyboards don't take them to their full potential they normally just use it for the spacebar one key but let's take my ergodox ez keyboard for example and you'll see that my thumbs use space, they use enter, they use backspace, which is amazing. They use uh, FN key, which toggles a different layer, which allows me to use arrow keys and home end keys like I showed earlier without moving my fingers at all. And they also have keys for the arithmetic operators, addition, subtraction, and multiplication division and other special characters. So they are being utilized to a fuller potential. Also, some keyboards like my Kinesis Advantage here have this curve shape to actually reduce the amount of movements your fingers have to make to almost nothing. You know, for the plus ultra lazy programmer. Anyways, I've given you some of the main points of why I love the split keyboards that I use. There are a lot more things that I could talk about, but I think the video would get really long, so I decided just a couple points today. I left some affiliate links in the description of the keyboards I kind of recommend if you want to check them out. And if you're still here, you're an absolute nerd. Check out some of my other videos if you're into game development or programmer related things. Also, help me out and get this video out by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I'm glad you're here.